had we went to the garden center today and bought some starts um, because I had bought some starts about three or four weeks ago, and pretty much all of them except two have died. I have no idea why. I bought tomatoes, jalapenos, cabbage, strawberries about three weeks ago, and they all died. Hey, what's up, everybody? John here, Delighted Acres Farm, and today we're in the garden. And I'm actually recording the intro after we've done all of the work for today. So you got to go to the end to find out what we already did. And so you guys, thanks for tuning in. But we are out here in the garden and we, we just took advantage of the beautiful day. And so we're just going to get right into it and I hope you enjoy. All right, so what did we do in the garden today? Today, we planted some strawberry plants. Uh, we have a four, um, I think they're quarter barrel size uh, planters. And we just, we had them out last year. 
um, had a few little things growing in them. We just topped them off with some of the compost we got for this year. Um, and then we had, we went to the garden center today and bought some starts um, because I had bought some starts about three or four weeks ago and pretty much all of them except two have died. I have no idea why. I bought tomatoes, jalapenos, cabbage, strawberries about three weeks ago and they all died. <laughs> I don't know what I did wrong, but so we replaced a lot of those today. Uh, we went back to the garden center and we got strawberry uh, plants and cabbage starts and we got more tomatoes, um, got some bell peppers. So anyway, today we planted strawberry plants in the quarter barrel planters and then we put down another uh, no-till bed and we put some a green cabbage variety called Early Jersey Wakefield. Um, I've never had this one, but that's what they had, and so I thought I'd give it a try. And then we put a, some red cabbage in as well. So that's what we did today. Oh, and we had to, so earlier this week, John and I got out here um, one evening after work, because that's the when we had time to do it, and put carrots in the bed. Um, and we, I think he made a video, we, we did a method where you put the board on top to help it germinate and everything. Yesterday, we had some crazy, 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 crazy wind in Oklahoma. There's always wind in Oklahoma, but yesterday it was pretty bad. And it actually blew off um, a couple of our boards off of the, where we put the seed tape down with carrots. And so, um, and it blew that seed tape around the yard. So this morning before we went to town, we got out and um, picked up what seed tape we could find. And so I had to replant that today too. It wasn't the whole bed. It was just the boards where the seed tape was and, and everything. So, um, so I got that replanted today too. And we got some, uh, what are they called? Paver stones to put on top of the boards so that they will not get blown away from the wind. So that's what we did in the garden today. All right. That was a, it was a beautiful day for it. Oh, my gosh, yes. The, today was gorgeous compared to the last few Saturdays that we have worked outside. Um, hardly Just a breeze today, hardly any wind. And the temperatures are perfect. It's been in the 50s, maybe 60s today. So it's really great temperature for working in. And the sun's out. And it's pretty. And, yeah. Really good day for working. <clears throat> I really like your vest. Where'd you get it? Well, my wonderful husband got that for me for Christmas. That's me. <laughs> it's, um, I don't, I think it's, I don't know if it's the heirloom gardening vest. It's a gardening vest from Duluth Trading Company. And I have had my eye on it for a couple of years. Um, tried it on once in the store and just thought, well, I'll get that at some point. But um, John got it for me for Christmas last year. And I really, 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 really love it because it has all kinds of pockets. Pockets here, pockets here, pen pockets here. There's a pocket here. In this one, actually, you can put your thread, your... Um, earbuds up through here so you can listen to them have your phone in there um what else here it's got pockets inside too i'll show you that pockets over here pockets there and it's got pockets on the back side which you can't see because i'm sitting down <laughs> it has pockets galore pockets for days and i love that because i always 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 need pockets when i'm out um, outside even just working even yeah. if i'm not in the garden Pockets are super handy. Yeah. So. And they've already come in very <clears throat> handy because, look, look what I got in this pocket. See packets <laughs> in that pocket. And I got more seed packets and plant markers in that pocket. I usually carry my gloves in the back pocket because they're so they're easy to get to. I got a pencil and a Sharpie marker so I could write on my my plant markers and I got uh, 
I got my phone in this pocket. It's amazing. I yes. love it. <laughs> it would be good for anything, not just gardening. Like any type of, you know, if you need pockets or whatever for crafting if. or fishing or <laughs> whatever you're doing. If a backpack were an article of clothing, it would be that vest. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yes. So, <laughs> so, all right. Well. So thank you, sweetheart. Oh, well, you're welcome. Anything else to say about the garden today? Uh, no. Pretty, pretty happy with all we've gotten done so far. Um, I just hope everything grows this year. I hope this yeah. uh, method of gardening works out for us. So it looks really good. The the I love the color of the compost. Like you can just tell it's rich with nutrients so yeah i just hope it works out for us yeah i want to grow some good food definitely definitely yeah. all right what about you john is there anything you want to say about the garden well um not really <laughs> <laughs> um no we're we're uh it is really starting to come together i'm really kind of enjoying seeing how these uh beds are coming with the no-till and putting in the uh, the cardboard. Because you see here, we got the Nissan loaded down with cardboard that a lot of it I picked up at work. And here a couple weeks ago, Kelly and I went and actually picked some up at a couple's house in a neighboring town. And so it's coming in real handy. And uh, like I said, back here, these tubs there are mineral lick tubs that are for cows and so those are going to be turned into wicking wicking tubs that we're going to put some tomato plants in and we'll see how that goes and so stay tuned for that because it is coming is ju we're just waiting on that um because it's just not time to put tomatoes out anyway and i've got to get the materials to actually make those into wicking tubs so um yeah i'm looking forward to all that was going on the stuff we got planted and the stuff that we're still uh, going to put in the ground and make some more of these beds. So we're actually going to go, you see this white pole right there. We're going to take the, take the garden out about right there, even a little further if we have to. And yeah, so we actually have a, we're going to have a bigger spot than we had last year. It's a different type of gardening and a different type of planting than what we did last year. And hopefully because of the cardboard, we're not gonna have nearly the grass and weeds that we had. At least it will be easier to control and take care of those whenever, if it, they do start to grow. So anyway, Kelly's doing a lot of work, a lot of hard work getting the stuff in the ground and I appreciate that. And we'll see how it goes in the next few weeks as we get more stuff done. So you guys, we really appreciate you watching. Thanks so much. Um, if you liked the video, please hit like. If you're not subscribed, I would ask that you would do that because that would help us out and we'd appreciate it. And ring the notification bell so you know when new stuff comes out. And y'all, a lot of you guys are new to the channel or relatively new to the channel. And thank you so much for joining us here and just following our adventures. Those of y'all that have been with us for a long time, thank y'all so much too because y'all make it worth it. You guys make it worth continuing and the interaction that y'all have with me and uh, the comments and all that. Keep leaving comments, asking questions. Let, let us know how uh, you do whenever you garden. Do you garden? Well, how do you do it? Um, anybody else do no-till? How's it worked for you uh, leading up to this year? So, yeah. If you, have, if you have pointers, tips, concerns, jokes you want to share with us, leave them down in the comments. So you guys have a great rest of your day, whatever day it is that you're watching this, and we'll see you on the next video. What about you, John? Sorry. <laughs> Bloopers. Um. <laughs> oh.